today's video, we are gonna be changing. Them. <laughs> Here is the brakes for the MX-5. They are in some desperate need for some TLC. They currently make some funky ass noises when driving. So I went online, rinsed my bank account on some new brakes. And here they are, massive flip off, free speeds mate. So as you can see, these are actually hooked and half drilled. And they're not even drilled fully the way through mate. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I thought it was for cooling, but apparently not because they literally got bored halfway through and stopped drilling. I don't know if you can see, but... And we've also got some EBC brake pads. <laughs> Right, so here is actually the brakes on the MX-5. They are massive. Oh my God, that's a dinner plate, mate. It's bigger than a dinner plate. This is the biggest set of brakes I've had on a car. I think these might be bigger than the Scirocco brakes or similar. But yeah, now is the long job of getting this as clean, smooth as possible. And then it will look nice and fresh. Now then, it is actually time to reveal the colour to you guys. Basically, if everything goes well, right, this car will be wrapped. So, if it does get wrapped, this colour will go very nicely with the colour that I'm wrapping. But for right now, it might look a bit funny, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> the colour that I'm actually wrapping, or painting, the brake calipers, is a bit of a controversial one. But, we are actually going with... Poor. Gold metallic paint. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna be painting my nails next and getting hair extensions. <laughs> I've got gold calipers. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It's like caramel. Ooh, fancy. And just like that, both sides are now all done and they are feeling extra glossy. Oh my goodness. They look like pure Dubai gold. Oh my days. I could take that to the flipping metal market and sell that for 10 grand, mate. Not the neatest of jobs by any means. I think a blind person could have done a neater job than this. Before we go any further with the brakes, I would like to say a massive thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Carista. Incredible device right here. Carista is actually an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter that can do some incredible things for your car. To get started, you quite simply plug the Carista device into your OBD port, connect it to your phone, and you're good to go. So with the Carista app, you can do some incredible things, such as customizing your car to your exact liking by unlocking hidden features. Now on certain cars, such as my Volkswagen Scirocco, you can actually activate needle swiping, audible beeps, you can change how long your rear deem mister stay on for, and there is so much more you can customize. You can also diagnose fault codes if you've ever been driving down the road like i have last week in the mx5 and an engine light pops up you can plug the carista device in and it will tell you exactly what that engine code is for mine personally it was a math sensor and some dealerships will charge you 70 pounds just to diagnose and read an engine line now another feature i love is freeze frame data as soon as the engine light comes up on the dash the car will take a screenshot of all of the different data from the sensors so that you can look back at it on the carista app the next thing you could do is also perform DIY service procedures such as resetting service intervals. You could do fuel system priming so if you change the fuel filter you can prime the system to avoid there being future problems and so much more like ding 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 
incredibly powerful features. And last but not least, you can actually monitor your vehicle's live data. So if you have a problem with your car, you can actually read through all of the different sensors and data to find out exactly what is wrong with your car. So if you guys are at all interested in picking up a car reset device for yourself, click the link in the description and use my discount code Michael25 for money off your purchase. It is such an amazing tool to just store away in your glove box or in your house. So without further ado, let's actually get back onto the brakes. We've now got put on the new brakes on the front. Yee. Getting back to the brakes, enjoy this little ASMR segment. And that's the end of today's ASMR segment. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Back to the video. Woo! They are actually beautiful. My half drilled brakes. They look stunning though. Now we just gotta get the brake pads out. Put them, put some EBC ones in. Yeah, boy. These are looking saucy, mate. Unfortunately, the wankers at EBC brakes didn't even include new bloody anti-shim things. So I'm sat here like a dickhead, sanding the old ones down. So the car is now back on the ground and that looks absolutely savage. It looks like a race car now, mate. But before I show you guys the, or oh, you see the brakes, but before you guys see the brakes, now that they're on the ground, Oh, mate, it looks 10 10. Oh, I really didn't think the color would go very well with the car, but it looks like a Nissan GTR. That's how I can best describe it. it looks savage. Absolutely savage. But before that, I want to do something with an MX-5 that everybody does pretty much. Um, Okay, and there is the first sticker. We've got to get a Ram Air kit sticker, Cobra exhaust sticker. This is good for passengers because at least they'll be like, oh, well, at least he's done the brakes up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm basically going to sticker bomb this thing instead of the sunstrip like the Scirocco. There they are. Oh my God. They look absolutely naughty. I've also done like these heat shielding in black. So it looks really, really nice and clean. The like hooks with the gold. It just looks really nice. Up next is actually the rear, which obviously don't look as nice. But let's get on to them. We've actually come to a slight problem with the rear brakes. Both rear brake calipers are like seized. I cannot push the piston, which is that bad boy in there. I cannot push it in at all to take the new brake pads in because they're thicker than the other ones. I was going to change the rear ones anyway because they were squeaking quite a bit. So I've already painted them and everything. So not a big problem, but these pistons right here are already pushed in. So just got to get them switched over. Never done this before, but... After literally a couple hours fighting with this piece of garbage, seized calipers, I think they're seized at least, they just wouldn't. Unless you're fucking Hulk, I don't see how you're like compressing that piston. Maybe it's just because it's old, but new brakes are all on. They look 10-10, mate. But yeah, we're about to get the new, the wheels put back on. We've just adjusted the handbrake and hopefully... This all goes well once I got the wheels on, or else I'm gonna have to jack the car back up. Very, very hard job getting the old caliper off and putting it on the new one. We might have to bleed these as well, but for right now, I'm just excited to get this car back on road. When I actually got the car back on the ground, there was no brakes. The brake pedal went straight to the floor and there was no handbrake. So my friend Lee actually came around the next day and we bled the brakes all around, which hopefully should solve the problem. And of course it worked, of course it worked. Somehow bleeding the brakes made the parking brake and 
the brakes work again. I'm guessing there was just loads and loads of air in the new calipers or something, I don't know. But bleeding the brakes, I wanna say a massive thank you to Lee, my good friend Lee. But yeah, he actually helped me bleed the brakes, made it 10 times quicker and it sorted out the brakes not working. Literally, I put, <laughs> I got the car back on the floor, the brake just literally went all the way down. All the way. So there was no pressure at all in there. But guys, that is actually the new brakes of the car. I actually think more than the performance, I actually like the look of it. It reminds me so much of a Nissan GTR with these hooked brakes with the gold calipers. I don't know if you got, I don't know if that is a GTR thing or not, but that's what it reminds me of. But something I can say about these brakes, I've been driving for about 200 miles on these brakes, just bedding them in, and they're so sticky. Oh my God, it's like, it's like some hoodie or something, it's sticky. So obviously with these brakes, I don't think there's gonna be that much of a difference. It might feel just a tiny bit more powerful, because obviously we haven't changed the calipers over, we've just changed the pads and the discs, so we'll see. But for the pads, they are stickier, very sticky. So we'll test them out in just a second. All right, ready? Three, two, one. be a marketing agent for EVC brakes. Let me let the brakes cool down a little bit and then we'll do that again, but with a little bit more power. Oh my God. No. Oh, I feel like you could see how confused I was there. Like, it just felt like somebody punched me in the, in the back. Traction control. <laughs> guys so unfortunately that is actually the brakes all done on the mx5 they look the part they actually feel the part as well and of course with just a small upgrade of the pads and the discs they feel very good very good of course we could have got bigger actual brake calipers like two pot or three pot but with the weight of this car and everything it's all right we are genuinely it's a slow progress but we are going to be basically building this car up to go on track this car was already booked to go on track, but because the towing hooks don't work on them, they're all rusted, we actually couldn't go. Both sides, front and rear, are actually rusted to hell. I promise it is going on track eventually. It's just, there's a lot more wrong with it than I thought initially. Right then guys, so unfortunately that is the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. Subscribe if you are new. Anyway guys, I will see love faces in my next video. Wow.